Hello YouTube, Prime here from Retro Prime Gaming. You know, one of my fondest memories I have growing up as a child was this time that I smashed open a, a garbage barrel and inside of it I found you know, probably a two or three foot metal pipe and I remember just beating people repeatedly in the face with that. Um, of course, I'm talking about playing the game Final Fight uh, and in this case, I'm talking about playing Final Fight for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So let's take a good look at what this game is all about. Let's take a quick look at all of these selectable players that Capcom has given us for this game. Yep, there's just two of them. So we have Cody, who's kind of like a, uh, a street boxer, and he does some kick moves. And then we have Hagger, who is the new mayor, and he's like... Uh, he reminds me a lot of Sergeant Slaughter, if you guys remember some of the old school wrestling. Um, and, and most of his moves are wrestling based as well too. There was another character from the arcade series that wasn't put onto this version of the, the game's release. His name was Guy, and it's a real bummer because Guy is like this crazy martial artist and he's, he's Cody's buddy. Uh, and he's a lot of fun to play with. So unfortunately, Super Nintendo, for this version anyways, we didn't get to see that. One of the things that is nice about this game though is it's totally a two-player beat-em-up game. So it's perfect for you know grabbing your buddy, have him come on over and just you know punch people in the face. What better way to spend an afternoon, right? One of the things you notice right away about this game is the names of the characters that you're fighting against. I think they're pretty awesome names. Most of them are based on like 80s rockers. So you've got um, Axel, like Axel Rose. You've got Slash, and they're really the same guy, uh, just with two different names. You see that a lot on the game. You're gonna see uh, Billy, and that's like Billy Idol. You're gonna see Sid, and I guess that was supposed to be like Sid Vicious. Um, one thing that we didn't see on this version are two girls. I guess you could call them girls. Apparently, according to the wiki, they're transvestites, but their names were uh, Poison and Roxy. And we didn't get those on this version. We just got some more versions of like Billy Idol and things like that. Um, the first guy that you fight in the arcade, his name was Damned. I don't know if that's a reference to like Damned Yankees, but on this game here, his name is Thrasher. And I think Thrasher's a pretty awesome name. There's also this guy right here. He has a name too, but I like to refer to him as a f***ing asshole. Now, probably my favorite bad guy that you fight against is Andon, or G. Andon. Um, he's the guy who's got his hands out like this, 
and he just comes and, and charges at you. Um, I like to think of this guy as like Andre the Giant, and I think that's where they were going with it. Um, and he's got some straight up awesome wrestling moves. This dude is going to choke slam you. He's going to pile driver you. He's really one of the, the funner guys to fight against, and I'm super happy that they put him in this game. There's a lot of things I, I really enjoy about this game. Um, whether it's the simple pleasure of just smashing like a crate or a stack of tires to find weapons or maybe some jewelry or whatever it is. It's simple but it's fun. Um, I also really like the fact that you can throw the big dudes. Uh, for some reason it's just really fun to get the big dudes in a combo and just launch them towards each other. Uh, another thing that's a lot of fun to do here is punch the guys who don't expect it. <laughs> These are going to be the guys that are like sitting on the subway or just hanging out on the street and you walk up to them and you just start wailing on them. Uh, for some reason it's just it's the simple things, right? Another thing that's a lot of fun to do on this game is to punch multiple enemies at once. Um, on the arcade version, this is a lot better, I would say, because they were able to fit more bad guys on the screen. But still, on the, the Super Nintendo version, if you get like three guys lined up, you can just punch them all and just take them all out at the same time. It's a lot of fun just to see all three of them falling over like that. Say what you want about Final Fight, but one thing this game does, it hits you right in the feels when you see the ending. Alright YouTube, Prime here signing off from Retro Prime Gaming. Thanks for checking out my review for Final Fight on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System.